Today, we're going to be playing more Power World. I'm super excited. Let's get right into it. It's apple seed. Ooh, it looks like we have enough to make this uncommon crossbow. I don't know the difference between the uncommon and the regular one. I'm assuming the uncommon one might be a little bit stronger because it does require more materials. It requires a significant more amount of materials. I'm curious. I want to see what it does. Oh my gosh, finally, we crafted the crossbow. All right, let's see. Whoa, 364 attack. Let's see what my bow and arrow is. 40 attack? Whoa, the difference in power. That's insane. I'm like doing like almost 10 times the amount of damage. And then like my 35 attack stone spear, that's, that's literally 10 times the amount of damage, if not more. We can shoot at them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They're going crazy. All right. Let me dismount. Out there, dude. Do your thing. Nice. We got one of them. We got another one. Nice. We got him. Wow. This crossbow is insane. I mean, it's no gun. Don't get me wrong, but... Still, I am fascinated by this item. Look at that. 315 damage, one shot? Okay. These guys aren't even worth my time. Yeah, get wrecked. Oh, God. Oh. No! 17% capture rate is very low. <gasps> no! Okay, 18%. Oh, man. Oh! There's a shiny lamb wall. I definitely want it. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Come on. 73%, 88%, 9900. Yes. Ooh, lucky. Wow. All right then. Let's do this. Eighteen percent. Is that enough? Twenty percent. Let's go. Fifty-three percent. Ninety-nine hundred. We caught chill it. We got the chill it. Yes. Honestly, a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Oh. All right, so we finally completed Nightwing's saddle, and admittedly, I do want to change the location of our base because right now our base, I mean, it's in a good spot, but not in an ideal spot for me because I kind of just like made it on a whim, kind of just made it just for the sake of making a base because that's what the tutorial told me, but... There's a whole bunch of other places where I can see my base being set up and I really love like the centralized locations here where it's much closer to a lot of other, you know, fast travel points as opposed to it being so isolated. Even if I chose like a spot like right here, right, where it's like so out of the way, at least I can fast travel to it. You know, it becomes a fast travel point on its own. So my goal is definitely to try to find like a new base of operations. So now that I have Nightwing Saddle, oh my gosh, I just threw Nightwing over the cliff. Now that I have Nightwing Saddle, I'm going to ride Nightwing. Hopefully there's no cooldown. Okay, nice. There's no time limit on how long I can ride Nightwing. That's actually amazing. I can rise like this. Whoa, that's amazing. Wait, is it using my stamina? Oh, it is. Wow. I guess that's okay, you know? This honestly feels like a really good spot to build a base just because of like how wide open everything is. 
All right, so it says that structures not placed well outside of the base will be dismantled, disassembled, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully, all my materials and resources stay. If not, I'm going to have to rebuild everything, but I think that'll be okay. All right, now we have a new base. Okay, so we do keep our base level. Thank goodness. I was so glad I didn't have to restart all that. As I've said, I'm going to start with this primitive workbench just so I can start building things. I want this to be like the designated work area with all different types of workbenches and stuff. Yeah, I want to utilize as much of this space as possible. I'm also going to just build this wooden chest right next to right next to it. Because then I can collect, right? I can collect here and then I can just turn around and then put stuff in that box. Great. And then for the logging site, I think I'm going to put the logging site somewhere nearby. I think even like right here could be really nice, you know, just right next to. Yeah, that's really nice. We can use this to store all of our goods like stone. We can use it to store our ore. This is amazing, you know, very efficient. Yeah. So, for example, like once they're once he there's stone being acquired here. I can just acquire it like that, turn over, and then store it. That simple. Same with the wood. Another thing that I want to build is this hot springs, just because I want a place where my pals will not go insane. You know, they have a place to relax, they have a place to chill out. I think that's, you know, very important for just the mental health of my pals. You know, I, I deeply care about the mental health of my pals, and I don't want them to, you know, be stressed out. And of course, the last thing that we're going to want to put down, you know, the last of the essentials is the ranch. We're for sure going to need a ranch. And I'm thinking a good spot to put the ranch would probably be also like near the house, maybe. Or we can even try to put it on like this side right here. The ranch could be like here. And again, we're going to want to build a wooden box and we can put it inside the ranch. I didn't even know you can do that, but that's very cool. And so now with that, we pretty much have everything we need for our base. Of course, I'm going to, you know, rebuild my incubator. I want to definitely build a lot more of these advanced things that I'm going to need, such as the primitive furnace, which is going to be useful for building the ingot. So those are all things that I'm going to be planning on doing shortly just to get our base running back up. I think now that we have a lot of the foundations set, we're pretty much like really in a really good place, honestly. You know, I'm not going to lie, but this Nightwing flying is not as great as I thought it would be. All right, y'all, we're going to try to capture Pen King. Let me just down all you guys. Oh, gosh. Tansy? AK-47 him. Oh, no. No, not good. Not good. All right. 30% capture rate. Oh, my gosh. 61 we caught pen king yes we caught pen king oh my gosh i almost died too but we caught pen king that's so amazing heck yeah and we got level 16 amazing wow it looks like pen king has some really useful skills around the base he has like pretty much level two watering handling mining hauling you know all of the good all of the really great things that we'll need now, I don't know how much more ready I am, but I really do want to take on the Rain Syndicate Tower boss again. I'm like, should I? Am I going to be able to? I'm not entirely sure yet, but it doesn't hurt to try. Now that my team is much stronger and I do have a better grasp of the game, I heard that there's a glitch right now where you can actually capture the boss. And that sounds kind of awesome to me. So we're going to fast travel over there and we're going to try to capture the boss. Also, I didn't mention this earlier, but I did put the game into normal mode just because like I can't possibly afford to wait 18 hours just for a egg to hatch. So 
I decided to lower the game to normal mode, you know. I don't... The game's already hard as it is, and, like... I also did get a comment where it doesn't really benefit me to play in harder mode because the game already is challenging as it is in normal mode. So I decided to not play in hard mode, you know, at least until I get really get the hang of the game, which I feel like I am now. But I feel like I can get so much better at the game, you know, and it might make the boss a little harder. Hard mode seems a little bit imbalanced right now, in my opinion, which is why, like, I switch it to normal mode. And Grizzbolt still has 30,000 HP. Oh, wait, we can hide behind the pillar, right? Okay, Tansy. We can summon Nightwing. Okay, this isn't as hard as I thought it would be. I mean, it's still very difficult. I'm running, running for my life. Grisbalt, why are you chasing me? Go after Nightwing. Nightwing is hitting you. Leaf Monk, get over here. Give me your gun. Leaf Monk is so good. Oh my gosh, he's gonna try to electrocute me. Oh gosh, he missed. Wait, we're doing really well. We're doing really well. Chill it. Get over here. Need you. Put him out of his misery. Oh, gosh. Oh, he got frozen. Wait, that's amazing. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. He's going crazy. He's going crazy. Okay, hide behind a wall. I think we hide behind a wall when he does that. We're doing really well. We might actually beat this. Oh gosh, dodge. Nice, Nightwing. Dude, Nightwing is going absolutely insane on Grizzbolt. He does no damage to Nightwing too. Oh gosh, oh gosh, hide behind the wall, hide behind the wall. Wait, Tansy is is actually nuts. Leaf Monk, get over here. Leaf Monk, get over here. I need your gun. Down his ass. Wait, can I capture him? No, I can't. Oh my gosh, no, I can't. Wait, maybe what a mega sphere? Still no. We killed Grisball. Guys, we killed Grisball. Oh my goodness. We destroyed him. We just defeated Grisball. Oh my gosh. I am actually nuts. Oh, we just not fast travel. Yes. You know, honestly, like, I know I changed it to normal mode, but like, I didn't even think he would still have 30,000 HP. Like, I, he had 30,000 HP in hard mode. So, like, this still was very challenging, but... It wasn't as hard as, you know, it was all about learning the game, you know, learning how to dodge, timing, all of that. I got all of that down, defeated him. Teamwork makes the dream work. I had all my pals going crazy on him. That was an epic fight. I'm. That was awesome. That was a lot of fun. Y'all, I just learned that we can actually capture Zoe and Grisball, which is not intended for the game, but sounds absolutely hilarious. We're going to do that. And I'm gonna try to make it happen. And if it works out successfully, I'm gonna show y'all how. So apparently the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to the small settlement right over here. All right, so we're in the small settlement, right? We're standing next to the fast travel. We're just gonna hit this officer right here. Okay, now we're wanted. All right, now we're gonna fast travel over to the rain syndicate tower entrance just like that and see the guards are following me i see the guards okay they're right there you don't want them to get too far away but you don't want them to kill you either so just keep running run 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 they're gonna be chasing you here just stand close by let them chase you a little bit yep yep they're here they're here all right and now you're gonna enter the boss fight we're gonna begin the battle we can skip the intro 
They should be in the boss fight with me now. They're going to be in the boss fight. Let them shoot Grizzball. Alright. Let them shoot Grizzball. Okay, they're not shooting Grizzball. Okay, they're hitting Grizzball. Alright, you see that? You see that? They hit Grizzball. We just captured Zoe and Grizzball. It was that easy. You just click respawn. And that's it. That's it. We have Zoe and Grizzball. Just like that. And, you know, we did drop all of our items, but you can just go back to where your items are to pick them back up. But you check your pal box and we have Zoe and Grizzball. How amazing is that? And the cool thing is 30,000 HP. That's right. 30,000 HP. All right. Let's see what they look like. So let's summon Zoe and Grizzball. And yeah. You have Zoe and Grizzball now, doing Zoe and Grizzball things. Guys, I cannot believe we defeated Zoe and Grizzball. And on top of that, we were able to actually capture them. I know it is a glitch, but like still, that's insane. I've said this a million times, but I'm having so much fun playing this game. And I still feel like I barely scratched the surface of the game, so... I'm excited to explore more of what the game has to offer. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I will be back with more Power World videos. I'll see y'all in the next video.